All right, so here we go, just a short and a sweet one for today. So I've mentioned this in a few previous videos, but I just want to display this because this is the perfect scenario slash example of uh, the benefits of the modification which we have done to this 38.5 puts my sir concrete pump. So what we got is we have these low hanging service wires here. Um, our local regulation is don't touch them. Next one's up or 220. Those are supply lines. Those are uh, three foot wires. We stay three feet from those. The top ones are the bad boys. Those are the 12.5 kV high voltage wires. We stay 10 feet away from those at all times. And I know in other parts of the globe, it's 20 feet from all wires, but that is the very specific breakdown on what our regulations are locally here for working around the uh, various uh, voltages of wires. So what we're gonna do here, I need to swing this boom up or lift this boom up rather and swing out underneath those service lines before I can come up and unfold. So from factory on this pump, the deck pipe actually sits much, much higher. So it does just a gradual slope all the way to the back and it sits about a foot higher at the back there. It sits about a foot higher right here. So what we've done is we've put in this S pipe. This is a part number used on a uh, 47 meter or Gen 1 47 meter Putzmeister. You can accomplish the same thing with the various makeup pipes and, uh, and bends if you so wish. But we just use this one uh, factory piece. What that does is drops that deck pipe down and we were able just to adjust these brackets here to accommodate that. And when I say we, we actually had a, uh, a local Putzmeister service center do this for us. So I don't want to take all the credit here. It was our idea though. <laughs> Anyhow, same thing. They just adjusted this down at the back. So see how much lower that deck pipe is? What I'm going to show you here. When I lift this boom out of the cradle, you see how close we get to the supply wire. Remember the rule is no touch. That's cable telephone service. So, And as we swing over here, you're going to see how close this boom gets to the deck pipe. See how close we are there? We're gonna be right on it. And eventually we'll have to come up to clear that slewing cylinder for the rear outrigger leg. But as you can see here, that allowed me to sneak underneath of those supply wires. If not for that deck pipe being lowered, if it was still at its original height, as I slew over, right at about this point here, well, maybe a little further. My hydraulics start to get into the deck pipe and then eventually the boom. And I'm still pinned right under that wire. So anyhow, super helpful modification for the work we do. We do a lot of stuff like this. We're really tight, hemmed under trees, wires, whatever, overhead obstructions. And uh, maybe something to look into. Puts my sir was not... Uh, kosher with doing this from the factory obviously anything that they do needs to go through engineering and whatnot and it's a long process I, I get it so it is what it is but it would be nice moving forward for some of the uh the pump manufacturers to take things like this into consideration just for the uh the sake of user friendliness and for the uh for the operator but anyhow See what I mean? We eventually do have to get up high enough to lift over top of that uh, slewing cylinder for the rear leg. But this affords us a lot of extra clearance when lifting up. Having that pipe being a foot lower at the front end means we can have our boom at the rear end here two to three feet lower. So it translates into a big, big difference back here on the, uh, on the business end where things actually matter. <laughs> so anyhow, that, uh, that's it. That's all. Just a, uh, a short little quick one today, just something I wanted to point out. And I figured this was kind of like the, uh, the perfect scenario to showcase the benefits of what we've done here. So like, share, subscribe, like, share, subscribe, like, share, subscribe, over and out.